Hey, what's going on there folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here back at it on this 4th of July, 2023, about 9, 10 a.m. Here, Central Time, latest activity shows some movement in Alaska uh, with a couple of smaller earthquakes up there currently taking place. Did have some activity down there into the New Zealand area overnight. This shows yesterday just due to the uh, time, the um, time zone that they're in. So they're basically in the future, so to speak. Either way, had a 4.3 down here, South Island, New Zealand. Also a little bit of movement up north here uh, into the region as well overnight. So things kind of kicking up slightly here across the area. Uh, those earthquakes did show up on the earthquake drums located there around the New Zealand area. Uh, 4.3 is going to be uh, one of the larger uh, signatures up here on the seismograph from yesterday but technically it was in the last 24 hours uh, and then we did see uh, as I mentioned a uh, three-pointer as well within the last couple hours here so things kicking up slightly down there across New Zealand there is still some movement here along the Kermadec Trench uh, latest one shows a 5.3 into this area the Tonga well it's halfway in between the Kermadec and the Tonga Trench region about 10 kilometers deep in this little bend that we've been watching quite a bit of earthquake activity occur in. Um, so yeah, just kind of keep an eye on things still. Uh, across the rest of the plate boundary here, some movement off the coast of Sumatra from yesterday. Uh, a little scattered activity throughout China and uh, a little bit of movement up here around the uh, Caspian Sea from last night. As uh, far as any major movement goes overnight, uh, well, we had a little bit of activity down into the South Sandwich Islands just east of there, 5.2, uh, coming in along the plate boundary. So potentially could see some elevated conditions here uh, throughout the day in this area, considering that's a uh, divergent boundary down there. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the states, see what we have for Northern California. Uh, we were watching some movement here into the uh, Petrolia area. Looks like they upgraded this to a 4.0. I think last night there was a 3.9. Not for sure, though. Either way, some activity from yesterday. Doesn't look like we've seen anything else overnight in Northern California. For the most part, uh, all the activity and what little there is has been down here across the southern portion of the state of California. Uh, no major movement to report here across the uh, rest of the states and the Hawaii area typical movement out there across the Pahala region uh, up into the Alaska some minimal activity at best um, last one was a 2.5 it looks like near the Cantwell Alaska region about 70 kilometers deep as uh, far as the activity on the Sun well we still have sunspot number 3354 which is now just about out of view, trying to uh, spark up another flare. Notice this bright feature here. Uh, very active region. That is the uh, area that, that did produce the X flare um, on this chart right here over 24 hours ago, about a day and a half ago. Uh, so now we're getting, it uh, looks like maybe an M flare currently from that same uh, sunspot, which of course is no longer facing us and uh, nothing at least as far as any CME goes, uh, should be geo-effective, should not be. Uh, that is currently way out there on the northwestern area of the sun. And what's left here, at least in our area, facing us is this regional sunspot here. Looks like it's um, about staying steady is, uh, I guess, the best word for it compared to what we've seen last night. That's going to be 3359. This is a much older image here. I'm not for sure why. There we go, 3359. Uh, and that does harbor a little bit of potential for some flaring, uh, but the main threat's still going to be currently from the sunspot um, 3354, which is on the northwestern uh, limb of the sun. That uh, does harbor a potential for 99% chance C flare activity, M flare at 65, X flare around 25% chance. So we'll continue to watch that for uh, some activity, but like I said, that's going to be. Uh, not a geo effect geo effective weather activity here today looks like there's a slight chance for some severe weather out here across portions of northern Colorado uh, mainly wind and it looks like wind events with a two percent chance for tornado probability but nothing big uh, down here in Texas today looks like general thunderstorm activity but nothing major on the menu today and uh, 
looks to stay that way over the next couple days so we'll continue to watch this monitor it as uh, we are still out here in texas and uh, just kind of calm right now it's not too bad it's um, not super humid where i'm at warm but not over overly hot all right folks have a good day we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on uh, tonight nothing going on across the yellowstone for now uh, we'll watch for some thunderstorm activity of course kicking back up uh, into the area let's see what we got just general thunderstorm activity here across uh, wyoming no severe threat but it does leave uh it does leave a seismograph signature there as we've seen yesterday that's going to be that signature uh, shown up here but um today a different story uh, at least so far this morning you know it goes back down to being quiet looks like a little bit of storming activity there last night and yesterday afternoon so all right we're jumping out of here uh looks like we just had a 4.0 come into the panama costa rica border area not showing up yet on the usgs map uh that one there is from uh, that's offshore, but that's from last night, so it looks like maybe there's another one coming into that area. All right, folks, we'll catch you guys back here later. Have a good day, and please stay safe out there on this July 4th. We'll see you.